Hey, this is You're something welcome. that Chris Christie, the former New Jersey governor, had been saying in uh, interviews uh, with his uh, book out here, is a more problematic issue for the president of the United States. What's going on in, uh, in that investigation of the Southern District of New York? Uh, Judge Andrew Palatano with us right now. Judge, back and forth, back and forth. He said, he said kind of deal. What do you think? First, I agree with General Boykin. Politics stops at the water's edge, and this should not have been had today. The president it should not be this right. It didn't have it, to be it, today. This could have been put off for a week. The, the Congress actually helped Michael Cohen get his uh, sentencing reporting date, his jail reporting date, delayed by uh, two months. He's got another two months in which they could have had this. The president doesn't need this monkey on his back while he's negotiating with uh, Kim Jong-un. However, as to what Michael Cohen said, you know, the government can't, doesn't always get to pick its witnesses. Often the people who testify on behalf of the government are as morally bad as the people the government is prosecuting. All right, so Michael Cohen lied and admitted to it and now says, I'm now telling the truth. But he's that kind of a monster, Mr. President. Why'd you keep him around for 10 years? Yeah. But he paints a potentially grave picture for the president. If the conversation he says he overheard with Roger Stone is true, then the president lied under oath because the president swore to the accuracy of his answers to the written questions from Bob Mueller, one of which was, did you speak to Roger Stone about Julian Assange? Answer, no. If what Michael Cohen says is true, that the president knew about the meeting with the Russians in Trump Tower in June of 2016, then he lied under oath because he told Bob Mueller he didn't know about it. But you'd have to prove... Right, you, you, you'd have it to could prove be it. One word against another. Correct. In one case, though, there is there is um, uh, corroborating evidence, and that is the payments to by Donald Trump, signed while he was president, to Michael Cohen, showing a debt from the president to Michael Cohen. The president swore in his financial statements to, filed with the Department of the Treasury he didn't have any debts with Michael Cohen. And two months after he swore to the accuracy of that, he starts writing checks of thirty-five thousand dollars a month. Uh, to Michael Cohen. That extends the conspiracy to defraud the FEC, the Federal Election Commission, of accurate campaign information into the president's presidency. So, if Cohen is being truthful, and if the government can corroborate what he said today, there's at least four potential felonies of which he has accused the president of the United States. Now, but those are big ifs. All right. Now, back to your basic point at the outset here, that we are essentially going on the word of someone who's going off to jail for three years because right. he lied to Congress. Right. And now his testimony is taken as gospel by at least the Democrats on that committee. Well, some... some but but uh, be that as may, uh, where does this go? It actually depends upon two prosecutor's offices, both of which our colleagues have been talking about. Right. It depends on what Mueller wants to do. Does he have enough evidence from Cohen corroborated? Because he can't use Cohen's word alone. He right. prosecuted Cohen. And does he have, does the Southern District of New York, the prosecutors here in New York City, have enough evidence? The one startling thing the that Southern Michael... The Southern District thing is potentially a bigger issue. I agree with you. The president could fire. The attorney general could shut down Bob Mueller tomorrow. Neither of them can shut down the prosecutors in the Southern District, and they are not political prosecutors. They are career, lifetime, full-time, apolitical prosecutors. And that office is not so much interested in collusion as going back years and years with it, business I can, I can tell you what it's into. It's into bank fraud with uh, Deutsche Bank, and it's into campaign finance uh, fraud with the uh, payments of, uh, of hush money. And there's apparently evidence for both. Judge, thank you for sorting all that out. It's You're a welcome. mess, but I knew you could and would and, and, and did. Thank you very, very much.